What's up everyone, it's me Joey. Today we're gonna open up a Bundle Corset 2020. And uh, this thing is actually different from the last bundles, um, from the different sets. Um, this actually comes with an alternative art premium foil, which is a Chandra's regulator card. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, comes with also, it also comes with a 20 premium foil and 20 regular basic lands. That's something different as well because I believe the bundles before this set, they came with like five premium foils and then like the rest of a land pack. Um, and then before that, no foil basic lands. It was just basically a land pack, right? Like a big fat land pack. So that's something different that they added to this set or this bundle. Of course, 10 booster packs inside, a card box uh, storage uh, to store your cards, a special oversized spin down life counter and two reference cards. So you guys wanna stick around? We're gonna open this up right after my little intro. All right, welcome back. So we're gonna crack this open. Oh, and then also we have this pack to give away uh, for all the people that commented on my uh, previous video, not the live video, but the other video. You guys are all here. We're gonna do this right after this uh, opening here. So let's go ahead and start cracking this up, breaking the seal. We're gonna go in the edge like this. I think, I think that might be good. Yeah, it did some work. All right, so here we go. It, is, it has been cracked. Oh, okay, so we have the poster, right? Like always, we gotta check that out. So let's move. Uh, of course, you got this little, I don't know what you wanna put in here. It doesn't really fit cards, but probably like some dice or whatever. I use it for to put pins inside and markers. <laughs> What's got Chandra so fired up? It's a little flyer in here. Browse all the cards from Core Set 20, 20 and beyond. So it's just like a little, flyer that came in here that's something different all right so we got this box here card uh, booster packs are inside of course but let's check out this poster real quick oh mine's a little damage right there see that little little damage there all right so it's just a symbol the magic symbol with Chandra running in the back or somehow I see some waves back there I don't know I'm not sure if that's some waves yeah that is and some lightning strikes uh, Corset 2020, and that's how it is. So it's like Ch the back of Chandra. And that's all. All right. So there's that poster. Now, let's open this up. Let's take out the. Uh, so I guess. Oh, so here's that Chandra's regulator. Okay, so it's. All right. So it's just a regular basic pack foil type, right? Or it has a different artwork. Oh no, it's, I think it's a different artwork. Yeah. Okay. So it's different. It's pretty cool. And land pack here. Then of course the boost packs. Here's the two reference cards that they were talking about. That's in the box. Okay, I guess pretty much shows you how to play magic. Nothing else in here. And a D20 here. Ooh, this is way bigger than. Okay, so when they said oversized, I was thinking maybe they, they called it regular D20 oversized, but no, this is actually oversized. This is way bigger uh, than the previous one. So that's something different too. It's pretty cool. All right, we'll just put this box away. Let's move it out the way. Um, so we got 10 booster packs inside here. Uh, a spin down. We're gonna use the spin down for the giveaway in just a second, so we'll put that. Actually, we're gonna put this aside. I don't want the camera to go all crazy again. Uh, with all this stuff on here, it's gonna go crazy. Let's open up this lamp pack here. Let's check out those foils, foil lads. I'm not sure if it's in this one or the next one, but we're just gonna open them both. All right, so I want to say this is probably just a regular basic lands, no foils in here. Yep, just like I said, just regular basic lands in there. So uh, the foils are being here then. All right, so there's that foil Chandra's regulator. And then here's a basic foil Land. So you got planes, islands. Not sure if you guys can see that with the reflection, the glare. 
the swamps, mountains, and the forest. Pretty cool. I like how they give you a bunch of foil basic lands, kind of pip out your deck. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Thank you, Magic. Wizards of the Coast. All right, so let's crack these open. These 10 booster packs here. We're gonna start with this pack here. And yeah, this wrapping is kind of harder than other sets to open. So we're gonna skip to the comments like we always do. Nothing important there. Uh, go kind of slow on the uncommons. Bishop of Wings and a Spirit Token. So Bishop of Wings is our rare. It's actually a pretty decent card. I've been playing against this uh, deck, this uh, angel deck in the, on Arena. Um, and it's actually pretty pretty good. And they use that in there. Uh, that with, uh, what's that? Uh, Resplend Resplendent Angel. And yeah, you'll, you'll start having all these freaking tokens coming out of nowhere. I'm going to open up the second pack here. Get into the comments. All right, so we got the uncomments here, and we have a Vorsius Hydra and a Johnny's Pride Mate token. It's a cat token. Vorsius Hydra. All right, so that's our second rare. Next pack. If you guys want to read the card, just pause the video. Uh, yeah, and just read the card if you guys want to see that. Diamond Knight is uncommon. Uh, Agent of Treachery. And a Zombie Token. That's our rare. Did I say that right? Agent of tr uh, Treachery. Uh, seven drops, so it's expensive, but this thing could take your, permanent, uh, your opponent's permanents away, even lands. And if you have three or more permanents uh, that you control from your opponent, you draw three cards at the end uh, at the beginning of your end step basically so that's pretty neat it's actually a good card if you could cast it uh, as early if you could get if you could stay alive by then or if you cast it earlier than that that with Hasha's Taker maybe Thief of Sanity uh, some other stuff will actually be a good deck Night Pack Ambusher so this card here I know we got a zombie token I love the zombie tokens uh, in this set, it, I love the art in it. Um, so this pack here, uh, Night Pack and Busher, is actually pretty good for flash decks. Right now, there's a flash deck going around, also in Arena, uh, in Arena, and uh, that card is actually played in the flash deck, the Simic flash deck. So it's pretty dangerous because uh, it it can make out a bunch of three three tokens. Well, two two tokens, but it'll get a plus one plus one. Um, this gives it a plus one plus one, so they'll be they'll become three threes. And they just start coming out like crazy, so you gotta stop that guy. Alright, next pet. Let's go to the comments. And we have, oh, so this card here is pretty good in elemental uh, decks. So right now, this is being played a lot. Uh, this thing is dangerous. We put these cards out here. Uh, whenever. Ryzen Reef or another elemental enters a battlefield under your control. Look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you may put it into the battlefield tap. If you don't put the card into the battlefield, put it into your hand. So this thing could get nasty if you don't stop this little 1-1 one -one creature, elemental creature. All right. So back to the rares or the uncommon is this. Another elemental creature. A rotting regosaur, big old seven six dinosaur for a three drop. At the beginning of your upkeep, discard a card. All right, and then we have another zombie token. So can't go wrong with those zombie tokens. I love them. So rotting uh, regosaur sounds like awesome. I mean, it it could be a disadvantage or advantage, whatever you want to, how you want to do it. But at the beginning of your upkeep, discard a card. So last night I played a standard. Um, somebody played. Uh, it was a bunch of like. Graveyard. It was a graveyard deck, pretty much a standard graveyard deck, uh, and they were bringing, they were casting creatures from the graveyard and stuff like that. So I guess this could it helps out for that deck as well. So it could be good, it could be bad, it depends. All right, next back here. Skim to the comments. 
Ooh, there we go. So we got a ley line of anticipation. Ley line of anticipation, uh, which is a four drop, but it could be free if you have it in your hand. Uh, you may cast spells as though they had flash. So, pretty good card. I like that card. And we have a foil diviner's lockbox and then a soldier token. So this is a foil uncommon four drop. Tap one colorless and tap it. Choose a card name. Then reveal the top card of your library. If that card has the chosen name, sacrifice diviner's lockbox and draw three cards. Activate this ability only anytime you could cast a sorcery. So that's that. We got one foil. We're on to the next pack here. So we got the, ooh, I like this Corpse Knight. That's a decent card too. For two drop, one planes, one swamp, two three. Uh, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life. Matter of fact, you know what? This is supposed to be a two two. I think this is a misprint one. So we got a misprint one because I think Wizards announced that all these are supposed to be two twos. So I guess they do come in the fat, uh, the bundles, uh, the two threes. Because I know they were in the kits, but I didn't think they were going to be in the bundles. Yes, they are. So, I got a miss. This, this, I've been seeing this going for like seven bucks. Just one card. I'm not sure if the price went down or what, but that's a good. I want to put that aside there. Got to look out for those two threes. If there's two threes, then uh, then you have something good. The Johnny's primate token. Let's put that there. Oh, let's put the foil right there. Uh, what else? Oh, this is another good card. The foil one is like ten bucks. Uh, Spectacle Sailor. It's got flash one one. It's a one blue drop and tap four draw a card, um, and it has flying. So it's this thing could uh, be a pest. Temple of Mystery. So that's our rare. Uh, it's uncommon. It's all right. So yeah, land. Whatever. All right, next pack here. We're gonna skip to the cones. Bloodthirsty Airless, which is actually a good card. Right now, Vampires is also being played, and this is one of a good, uh, one of the great Vampires you can play in your Vampire deck. Uh, two Swamps and a Colorless. Two, three, Flying. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one, plus one counter on Bloodthirsty Airless. So this could just get big out of nowhere, uh, especially if you put, like, Sactum, uh, what is it, that Sactum Seeker, or that Vampire that whenever each Vampire attacks, it, uh, your opponent loses one life and you gain one life. So when you attack with all your vampires, then this thing just gets big. Could get out of control. It's a good uncommon. Good vampire. Another Chandra's Regulator, the Nun Foil. So let's put that there. And we have a Foil Netcaster Spider. 1-1. One, one, uh, I'm sorry, not a 1-1. One, one, a 3-drop, 2-3. Three three. Reach whenever a Netcaster Spider blocks a creature with flying. Netcaster Spider gets a plus 2, plus 0 into end of turn. So there's that foil. And that is zombie token. So that's four zombie tokens we got already. And keep them coming. I love those tokens. They're awesome. Alright, skip them in the comments. I can't believe they reprinted that again. It's a good card though. Brash and Brontodon. And we got a Villas Broker of Blood. And then that is zombie token. <laughs> All right, so this thing, uh, this thing is expensive, but so this is five, six, seven, eight drop, three swamps, five colorless, eight, eight flying, pay a swamp, pay two life, target creature gets minus one, minus one into end of turn. Whenever you lose life, draw that many cards. So yeah, uh, this could right here, if you could discard this to your graveyard and then play what is it, blood to bones, yeah, you could bring this back here and it'll just get nasty. Uh, I saw, I played one deck, I played against a deck. With that car with that combo, and that was pretty good. It was it was pretty insane. It was, I give it to them for playing that deck, and it was good. So whenever I was talking to them, they kept drawing cards, and then yeah, they just got out of control. Oh, what am I doing? I need to go over here in the rares. There we go. All right, here we go. In. Keep it going, Joe. Keep it going. Oh, there we go. Vivian Artbow Ranger. So we got Planeswalker and a Soldier. No zombie token, but. Sorry, we got five. 
So we got a Planeswalker, uh, three forests, and a colorless, so four total. Comes with four loyalties. Plus one, distribute two plus one plus counters amongst up to two target creatures they gain trample into a turn. Into in a turn, sorry. Minus three target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker. Now minus four, you may choose a creature card you own from outside the game, reveal it and put it into your hand. So that's what Vivian Arcbow Ranger does. And I guess guys, that's my whole thing. So let me just clean this up here and then we're gonna do that giveaway, okay? Be right back. All right, so clean it up a bit. Uh, by the way, most of those rares and stuff, if I don't need them, I'm gonna throw them in the bean box. So uh, hopefully, um, hopefully uh, I don't need them all so that they all could go in that bean box. Um, man, I can't believe this is so big. It's pretty cool. I like that. So we have the Water Spark, and this is going to pe people that commented on uh, the last video here. Uh, we got all these people here. And we're gonna do what I normally do, how to give it away. Thank you guys for commenting. So let's go ahead and shuffle. And sorry guys, this video's uh, posted late. I know it's like a Tuesday, so. Uh, my car broke down over the week and it's gonna cost me $2,400 to fix. Yep, I know, that's ridiculous. $2,400 to fix, uh, I'm like, I'm shy like $700 or so to fix it. So right now I'm using Sabrina's uh, parents' old car just to get around and stuff for her to go to work and, and stuff like that. So yeah, so that sucks. So you guys need any cards or anything, I'll check out my eBay store. Uh, Joey and a Beanstalk is my eBay store. Or if you just want to uh, personal message me or whatever, send me an email. Uh, let me know what you guys need and I'll give you a good price and ship them out. I can even ship out with tracking and everything. Alright, so let's shuffle this up, uh, which we did. Then we're going to do a nice little cut here. I know you guys are hanging around for too long, 16 minutes in or so. Alright, here we go. Good luck, guys. Let's roll this D20 here. And we have a 20. Oh, my goodness. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just... Uh, Go all, all count all the cards down and redo it again. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So this guy here is the winner. Let's see who it is. Congratulations to Win Zinnerberg. All right, Win, Mr. Win. <laughs> I know you're a few years older than me. Calling you Mr. Win. So here you go. Let's see what you get in this pack here. Water Spark. All right. So we're gonna skip to the comments and remember, I'm gonna send you the valuable stuff. So I'll send you that Vraska as well. Ravnica at War is your rare, and we have a foil which is uh, a shock. School Skul What is it? Skulker. Foil. It's good. Uh, this card here is actually good. In the limited, but not, I don't know about the standard or anything, or anything else, in the devil token. So, here you go. I'll send you this cards out here. Uh, thank you, Win, for commenting, and thank you uh, for the other people that commented. Uh, I guess I'll post another video uh, this Friday, hopefully, or sometime this weekend. But until then, I guess I see y'all later.